I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Three jokers, flower, red dragon, east. One, two, three in cracks, four, six, seven in bams, four, seven in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would use consecutive runs since we have no multiples. That's the most flexible category on the card. So I would keep one, two, three. And we happen to have the matching dragon. There is an actual hand right there. We just need to build up. That would be the fourth hand down under, no. That would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. We do have like numbers in here and the offsuit dragon for like numbers with dragons, the third like number hand. And here we have tiles we can pass. So I think we have two options, both using the joker. The consecutive run hand is one tile better off than like numbers. Because here we have four, and there we have three. So let's pass these. Now we have a one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. Consecutive run. Let's pass these three. Flower and a dragon. There's our first multiple there. I would focus on that dragon hand. Well, we have a multiple here too with our flowers. It's very risky to pass flowers. I think one, two, three, dragon. So let's pass these three. Actually, let's put an even number in there. No keepers here. We have a three, one, three, one, three, dragon. The dragon hand in odds is matching. It'd be one, three, five, crack, which we don't have. We could also maybe do like numbers with threes. Let's just pass these three. Nines, we got a pair. There's a four. I think I would break that up and let the three go. Focus on one, two, three, dragon. We got a keeper. There's four bam, eight bam, nine. We have all keepers here. Let's pass these three. That looks really risky, but really they'll only be able to use two of three, eight, nine, or four, eight, or none of them. No keepers. Let's see, one, three. I think I would just let these three go. We have a hand with no gaps. No keepers. I would discard those. For this hand, we need four flowers, so we could use that there. And then we need two pair. 
We can use these to help us here. We really need Pung Pung. So all we need in here, Kong, Pear Pear, Pung Pung. We need pairs here. So it's a little risky with singles for two pair that you need, but even one good pick and we'll be set. The other thing we could maybe do, if that doesn't work out, is switch to one, two, three, and one suit and a pair of flowers. That would be the third hand down under consecutive run and just discard those. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. We have an east, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in cracks, singles, two, six, eight in dots, four bam, seven ma'am. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a two, four, six, eight hand. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles for that category. We could do consecutive run. And there is a pair hand in a seven tile sequence, but we have no multiples. I wouldn't risk it. So I would probably play evens. Two, four, six, eight, six, eight. We do have some six, seven, eight consecutive run potential. So two, four, six, two, six, eight, four. There are a lot of two suit even hands. Let's see. So maybe instead of passing three, five, in one suit pass four or five. I think it's six one half dozen the other. Other that other than that, maybe let go of a seven. But even still, these are odds and those are odds. I think the isk the isk the risk is equitable. So let's pass these. We got odds. I think I would Let's see, reassess, let's reassess. Nine, one, five, bam. So we have one, five, seven, nine, six, seven, eight, six, eight, seven, nine, and then two, four, six, eight. I think those two can go. We're in between six, seven, eight, nine, and two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Let's, ooh, let's put in a different suit. We'll let these go. We're trying for evens. Come on, evens. We got an even, a six, and that's our first multiple, sixes. There is a matching dragon with cracks. There's a hand that we could try for. Fifth one down under evens. So let's pass those. Two, four, six. Let's let the four go instead of passing seven, nine. We'll focus on two suits. Okay, now, it seems like this hand just wants to be odds, but we have a multiple with a six. Six, eight, six, eight, five, five, six, six, 
five, six, seven Mixuit Kongs. We have no flowers. That hand would be maybe that third hand down, but we have no flowers. Let's pass one of each suit. Wins. Oh, we got an eight though. What about two, four, six with two eights? That would be the fourth hand down under evens. We would have to break up a six though. I don't think I would play that particular hand. We have two wins. I would break those up and probably pass those three. One, seven, six, eight, six, seven, west. That can go. Oh, look, we got the red dragon. I think that's where I would focus. Sixes and reds. Maybe we could keep the six in case like numbers comes in and let these go. So let's let go of the one, seven, one eight west. Focus on cracks or maybe like numbers with dragons. That would be a plan B. Two, four. I think that we went the right way. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Let's pass these three for optional cross. Let's see here, hold on. I think this would be safer. Three, six, nine, or two, four, six, eight. I guess really it's six, one half dozen the other. Odds. Let's pass these three. No keepers. I would let those go and focus on two, four, six, eight in one suit with dragons. Pair, pung, pair, pung, kong. We could pung here. We just need to build up here. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. This would be pull two. We have a red dragon, an east, two, four, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of fours, pair of sevens, pair of nines. In dots, we have four, five, eight, and in bands, we have a five, six. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would build around the most of my multiples, and that would be seven, nine. Even though we have a four, we've got two multiples here to leverage, as opposed to, let's say, one with two, four, six, eight, and we'd have to let go of two pair, as opposed to one. I would let the east go and keep the fives, so we could do some kind of an odd hand. I would keep the dragon, because there is a one suit dragon hand, Break up the four. So let's see, four crack there. Let's pass the eight. Actually, yeah, wait, no, no. Let's keep the eight, because we could do consecutive runs, seven, eight, nine. So let's pass the six. Oh my goodness, I hope no one ever would ever pass that. East and west. East and west. There is a short run hand. East and west Kongs with a short run. Like seven, eight, nine. We'd have to let a seven crack go. We really don't have to pick a hand because we do have tiles we can pass. 
I think I would still keep the fives for like, uh, not like numbers, but um, big odds. Or break these up. Let's see, two, four, eight, east and west. Let's pass these three. Threes, wow. I hope nobody would ever pass a pair. We have three, five, seven, nine. There is a concealed hand that spans one through nine and two suits. We don't have any flowers, but maybe we can try that. One, three, five in bams, five, seven, nine in cracks. Maybe we should think about letting these go and keep the five. Keep all the odds. Let's pass these three. There's a three and a five. We have tiles we can pass, but I don't think I would pass two wins. So here we have seven, nine, three, five. I think this three can go. We could still do one, three, five. And then seven, nine, five, seven, nine. If we can get a five crack, this probably would go. If we get seven bam, let's say, or even a seven dot, we might switch to just big odds and break that up. So let's pass these three. Oh my gosh, what is going on with these tiles? <laughs> a pair of threes. Okay, so now we have flower, three, five, seven, nine. I would break those up and pass those three. We could get a one dot. Oh, you know what? We only need, actually, let's rethink this. Because here we have three, five. Woo, we even have a dragon in here. Like numbers with threes and dragons. So let's see, three, five, little odds, seven, nine. This is a crazy hand. We need pear pung, five crack single. Pear pung, pear pung. Let's let the red dragon go. And then the three bam. We'll let these go and hope for a one dot. Pear pung. We need a one dot and a five crack. All right, let's keep going. One dot. Oh, nice. We have a three bam there again, but here's a really nice start to that hand. Single pair pung, single, we have a gap, pair pung. Of course, we have to draw it, this is concealed. Flower, this is why you don't wanna pass flowers. Don't pass flowers. This is kind of a random pull, random tiles. Sometimes you get flowers. And pairs, by the way. Okay, now, here, I don't think I would pass that. That's pretty risky. I think I would pass two for optional. Min just minimize the risk there. No keepers. We have three discards and a hand. We, we need to draw a five dot, five crack, nine crack. And we can use jokers there. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would have done. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. This year, 86% of the hands on the card use pairs, pungs, kongs. So if you build around multiples, you're gonna optimize your potential to win. If you don't have multiples, Find a category on the card that uses most of your tiles. When a multiple forms, reassess and build around the multiple. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.